Good morning kids, today we're checking out a brand new video from a channel called Game Old Salt, I think that's how it's pronounced. Welling of the Forest Story and All Endings Explained. This guy it kind of seems to be similar to Super Horror Bro Mike, so hey, we're gonna check it out. <laughs> The Wailing of the Forest is a story of a terrifying weeping figure who hunts the banks of the riverside, weeping Ooh. and searching for her lost child. The figure, hoping to find her child, hunts for any child that comes her way, hoping to nope. free herself of the curse that has been set upon her. Hi folks, Damn. I'm R, your narrator, and welcome to the Weeping of the Forest. If you have any game or video suggestions, make sure to send them my way on my Twitter or subreddit. Keep in mind that this video will have spoilers of the game, and with that in mind, spoilers. let's begin. So beware on all that. In the year 1826 in Costa Rica, the protagonist stumbles upon a mysterious note, its words huntingly revealing that the author still hears the eerie wailing of a woman on tranquil nights. As the protagonist delves deeper into this enigmatic world, a chance encounter with a mysterious- I'll be honest, the, the, all the fuzzy, like, visual stuff is a little irritating on the eyes. Looking man adds to the sense of intrigue. The protagonist still in his youth is addressed as a boy by the enigmatic stranger. Oh, Seeking to make but his still. way back home, the protagonist shares his intent with the man. However, much to his dismay, the man reveals that a landslide has blocked the main path, preventing the protagonist from returning to the comforts of his familiar surroundings. With a generous oh, gesture, the mysterious man invites the young protagonist into his home, providing shelter and a place to dry him. Himself. Promising to return and guide the young traveler along an alternate path, the man ensures that the protagonist won't be left stranded. Before departing, oh, he right. offers a stern warning, advising the young visitor not to cross the bridge, cautioning that it is unsafe to do so. Inside the house, the young protagonist discovers yet another cryptic note, cautioning him against certain actions. Don't it advises him not to gaze for Don't too long, to long. avoid getting too close, and to never turn his back on a mysterious woman. Hmm. The warnings further deepen the sense of mystery and apprehension, leaving the protagonist uncertain about the nature of the woman and what lies ahead on his journey. Don't against the, the old man's warnings, the young protagonist's curiosity gets the better of him. Despite yeah, the mysterious it. warnings, the protagonist decides to take the risk. I mean, I guess if we didn't cross the bridge, there would be no game, would there? And proceeds to cross the bridge, unaware of the potential consequences that may lie ahead. While crossing well, the bridge, go. the protagonist stumbles upon yet another cryptic note. The message reveals a haunting truth. The mysterious woman that committed a heartbreaking act, oh. drowning her own offspring in the very river beneath the bridge. As the boy oh, ventures damn. beyond the bridge, the faint sound of wailing fills the air, gradually growing louder with each step he takes along the riverbank. The discovery of yet another note further deepens the mystery. There are a lot of damn signs. But then again, I guess they have to have a way of telling the story. Revealing that the woman's sorrowful wailing is a result of the loss of her child. A tragic event that continues to haunt her, even after the passage of many years. As the young boy continues his journey, he encounters an eerie sight by the riverbank. A woman dressed in black, weeping bong, bong. and wailing in sorrow. She casts a chilling glance his way, momentarily mistaking him for her long lost child. In a trembling voice, the woman inquires about the whereabouts of her child, her eyes filled with desperation and uh -oh. anguish. The boy is taken aback by the unsettling encounter, realizing that one wrong answer could potentially nope, lead nope, to nope. a perilous fate. He discovers additional notes revealing more to the story of the woman who had drowned her own newborn child and brought shame oh, to her newborn? family. Damn As a consequence it. of this tragic act, she has been cursed, destined to hunt the- I mean, that just, that just makes it even worse. I'm not saying that the child was old or no one would have killed, but no. I'm, I'm just like, damn, why? Riverbank and suffer the pain of her loss forever. It happens that every explorer who crosses the bridge and encounters this sorrowful woman meets a fate similar to that of her child, meeting a tragic end. Along the riverbank, candles are placed in remembrance of each unfortunate explorer who fell victim to this hunting curse. The candles serve as a solemn tribute to those who suffer the terrible fate at the hands of the grieving river woman. After the unsettling encounter with the mysterious woman, 
the protagonist finds himself in an ever-changing environment with the eerie figure of the woman appearing all around him. Oh, As he crap. cautiously proceeds, he comes across the same man who had earlier offered to help and warn him about the dangers lurking at the riverbank. To his horror, the man's lifeless body now lies at the riverbank, indicating that he did not make it back home safe. Face the rain or face the soil, retrace your steps least you leave your mortal coil so look at the ground look at the sky and walk backwards or lose your life is pretty much what that's saying safely it appears that his life was tragic okay not walk backwards but you know walk backwards through the path be taken away as he tried to warn the protagonist to turn around and escape the clutches of the wailing river lady an action that seemed to displease the hunting figure no matter how hard the protagonist tries to escape the woman's clutches his efforts only seem to worsen the situation each time he encounters her he is drowned by the hunting figure who believes him to yeah. be her lost child again. the protagonist finds himself and trapped again. in an unending cycle, forced to relive the terrifying encounters repeatedly until he can find a way to break free. A mighty struggle, he stumbles upon a chilling note that reads, not even death is an escape. This ominous message suggests that the boy might be trapped in an endless loop and even death itself may not grant him respite until he confronts the terrifying and monstrous woman head on. As the protagonist ventures yeah, deeper into course. the forest, he stumbles upon yet another note, warning him about potential illusions that may deceive him Boris along Leprechaun? the way. Despite the warning, he soon comes face to face with the man he had seen lifeless by the riverbank before. Doubt fills his mind as he recalls the note's words, suggesting that this encounter might be another illusion of the forest. The man began speaking detailing his responsibilities at the farm, tending to cattle, toiling in the fields, and harvesting crops. However, before long, the figure vanishes into thin air, leaving the protagonist even more mm. convinced that what he experienced was indeed just another illusion, an eerie mirage <laughs> created by the forest to deceive and confuse him. The protagonist's eyes fall upon the notes, its words urging him not to succumb to the mysterious woman's influence. As he slowly turns around, a woman stands before him, visibly agitated by the fact that the boy continues to resist there. The note and woman's home. frustration seem to hint that the woman only gains power over him if he willingly embraces his fate and chooses to remain with her. This leads him to wonder if the entire ordeal is nothing but an illusion, a Ew. hunting loop in which Don't each smile. death repeats itself, Don't trapping smile. him in a never-ending cycle of eerie repetition. Oh, hold on folks, we'll be right back. Well, that's it for the story, now for the endings. In the first ending, the boy finds himself once again facing the lady of the forest on oh, the bridge. Oh, back Determined, off, back off. he refuses her advances, and in her desperation, she flings herself <sighs> into the water. Years have passed since that hunting encounter, and the boy has now grown into a man. He recalls vividly the wailing of the forest, but he confesses that he has never seen the apparition of the woman ever again. Yet, her face continues to haunt him, causing him restless nights, leading him to refer to it as the curse of La Llorona, finally oh. revealing the identity of the weeping woman. In the second ending, the protagonist follows the advice of the man and there was also a movie about that. decides to stay in the hut. True to his word, the man guides him safely back home, ensuring that the boy avoids any terrifying encounter with the wailing woman. In the third oh, possible ending, the protagonist feeling sorry for the lonely... Okay, so you do have three endings. Things. One to where you escape, or one to where you listen to the man, one to where you give in and give up your soul. Lady makes a selfless decision. He chooses to stay with her, and as he slowly walks towards her, he agrees to remain by her side. The lady, overjoyed to have her child back, is captivated by the prospect of spending eternity with the boy, God, opposing the smiling. loneliness brought upon her by the curse. In the fourth possible ending, the protagonist firmly rejects the woman, expressing his concern for missing his family. The woman tries to persuade him that families cannot be trusted, sharing her own tragic story 
of being forgotten and cursed by hers. She insists that all she wants is to love him and be loved in return. Reluctantly, the woman admits to her past actions, Close expressing remorse and stating she never intended to harm her child but was forced to do so, claiming to be a hopeless- Yeah, look, if we actually go back to the original story of La Llorona, she only killed her kids because her husband cheated on her. I don't see how you decide to kill what you love because the man you loved broke your heart. So you took lives. That that doesn't make sense. And why hurt the third party when it's the first party that had hurt the second party? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Less romantic, who only sought love and blaming others for her evil deeds. Despite her pleas for forgiveness, the protagonist remains resolute and chooses to leave her. The woman seems to accept the protagonist's decision and departs, revealing her profound loneliness. After her departure, the protagonist runs as fast as he can, desperate to escape the cursed riverbank and return home. However, his fear and panic lead him to get lost in the cursed forest, where he encounters illusions and the souls of other unfortunate explorers who suffered a similar fate. Ah, now, crap. he has all grown up, sharing this story with his own grandchild, warning the child to avoid wandering through the forests at night. Oh, here we go. The actual story or legend. La Llorona, La also known as the Weeping Woman, is a terrifying legend of a sorrowful woman who drowned her child and now hunts the night, particularly near river sites. This hunting tale is passed down to children across Latin America as a cautionary warning, mm -hmm. aiming to keep them safe and prevent any accidents near waters. The tale of La Llorona has various versions, but the most common one revolves around a woman named Maria. Once happily married to a wealthy man, they had two children together. However, their marriage began to suffer as her husband grew distant, spending more time away from home and showing little interest in her. Devastated, Maria eventually saw her husband with another woman, driving her into a fit of rage. In some accounts, Maria tragically drowned her own children in a moment of madness, only to realize the gravity of her actions and cry out in anguish. Some legends say that in her grief, Maria took her own life. At the gates of heaven, she was refused entry and condemned to roam earth as a tormented spirit until she could reunite with her lost children. And boom. Since then, she became known as La Llorona, oh, that... the weeping woman forever. Oh, that's why you can't turn your back on hope, because he probably instantly grabs you. So you gotta make sure you remember the path for going backwards. Mourning her okay. tragic past. According to the legend, La Llorona can be seen floating near bodies of water in her ghostly white attire, perpetually weeping while in search of her lost children. Different versions of the tale vary in their details, with some claiming she kidnaps or harms children, while others say that she targets unfaithful husbands. Regardless of the variation, the common advice mm -hmm. when encountering her hunting cries is always the same. Flee and run away to safety. And that is it for La Llorona, folks. And that's it. Or the tragic tale of the weeping woman, or also known as the lady in the white, but in this scenario, the lady in black. Either way, <laughs> if you folks yeah. enjoyed the video, make sure to stay tuned for more by hitting on the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your host, Star, and I will see you on the next one. Have a good day. Alright folks, that's going to be the end of today's video. That's a horrifying sight. And, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Link will be in the description below. And I'll see all of you folks next time when we flick on. Peace out.